Now, your Storm Track 9 weather. I know that our other meteorologist, Liz, said Pugsatawney Phil's only right about 40% of the time. Well, I think it's kind of rude to pull that scruffy little animal out <laughs> of its den and make yeah. it look around. It didn't want to do that. Why are we worried? You know, if, if there's six more weeks of winter, that's till we get to the uh, vernal equinox. That's oh. the start of the astronomical spring season anyway. So huh. let's just deal with the forecast. This week we're going to be trending cooler after the mild weather today. Well, lots of numbers to review for you as we begin. First today in Wausau, the low was 28. That was 21 degrees warmer than the average of 7 for the 2nd of February. The high at 45 tied the record high for the date set in 1992. The average high for today was 25, so it was quite warm not only in Wausau but around the area by 20 degrees warmer than average for Wausau. Sunset this afternoon at 5.07. There were some record highs set today, first in Milwaukee at 56 degrees, Madison 51. And a record high was set for today in Green Bay at 47 by 10 o'clock. And even during the evening, I'll get the reports from the National Weather Service as to other highs that were tied or set in the area for the day today. But the warmth was brought in in part by the sunshine and by the gusty west to northwest winds that we had today too. Current temperature readings across Wisconsin range from the mid to upper 30s far north to the mid to upper 40s far south. Kind of in the middle is Wausau, presently at 40 degrees, 40 also at Stevens Point, 48 presently in Milwaukee, 39 in Hayward, 32 at Ironwood, Michigan, 33 the current temperature reading in Duluth. We've had wind gusts into the low 30s today in the central part of the state, even some mid 30s too. Those west to northwest winds brought the warmer air in and again mixed with that sunshine to help scour out the cloud cover to some degree and make for the milder day today. Our current Storm Track 9 satellite and radar view shows clouds streaming toward Wisconsin, but as we look to the west, there's hardly any precipitation falling from those clouds, rain or snow, so we're just going to be dealing with some in and out clouds this evening, tonight, and during the day tomorrow, even into Tuesday, but we don't have much snowfall in the forecast. It's going to stay mild tonight. Notice that lows will fall back below freezing to 22 to 27, so lots of melting today. Wisconsin DOT is reporting good winter driving conditions right now because we just basically have wet roads, but there will be slippery spots, I suspect, because we'll be falling back below freezing, even though staying very mild tonight, partly to mostly cloudy skies, northwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. High temperature tracker for Wausau shows that the taste of spring is pretty much gone. Still fairly mild tomorrow, high 33, and really for the rest of the week, although it will be cooler, highs in the low to mid 20s, not too bad for early February. At least we don't have anything bitterly cold on the way. Our future track shows that the jet stream is kind of split through Wisconsin, to some of it to the north, some of the active storm track otherwise to the south. So we'll have some cloud cover the next few days, hopefully some peaks of sunshine too, but we don't have much snowfall in the forecast. There will be one stronger low pressure system tracking to the south the next couple of days. Not expected to bring any snow this far north. Your bus stop forecast Monday out the door to work and school. We go back to it at 7 a.m. It's going to be mild. Temperatures in the low to mid 20s, but light northwest to north wind. Generally cloudy skies. Not too bad of a start to the new work week. Hometown highs tomorrow should be a little bit cooler than today, but not too bad for this time of year. Upper 20s to low 30s north of Wausau. A little bit warmer to the south. North wind tomorrow afternoon at 6 to 15 miles per hour. We've already talked about the cooler trend this week, but nothing bitterly cold and not much snow on the way. Maybe some flurries Thursday, a few flurries Friday and next Sunday, but for now no significant snowstorm is expected.